Nestled on the east coast of the Baja California Peninsula, Gonzaga Bay is a hidden gem that offers a breathtaking blend of natural beauty and outdoor adventure. With its pristine beaches, crystal clear waters, and rugged desert landscape, Gonzaga Bay is a destination that captivates the senses and invites visitors to explore its wonders. My girlfriend and I have camped here several times in the past, but this time was going to be different. Why is that? Well, let's just say Samana Santa. In this video, we will show you the route we took to Gonzaga Bay, where we camped, and let you decide if going during a busy holiday weekend is the right time for you. What's up, everybody? I haven't made a video in a while, but this week is Samana Santa, which means Easter is this Sunday, and my girlfriend here has Thursday, Friday off. So we are gonna make a trip to San Luis Gonzaga. We've been there like four or five times already, and hopefully we're going to try to camp in a place called Punta Final, but it's probably gonna be super packed. I had a contact to call, and they, they don't really reserve spots, but they said there's a place available, and we're gonna go check it out. Hopefully we can get there. It's 7 a.m. right now. It takes roughly five hours to get there. See you guys there. So we just stopped here in San Matias. We actually came from Ensenada and we went straight down the highway going towards San Felipe, which we're not there yet. And then we'll go south to Gonzaga Bay. But this is a must stop. Um, this guy here got like 30 years making burritos and he makes his own machaca. It's incredible. I came here a few weeks ago with a friend and it's definitely a must stop. So if you're ever on this highway going towards San Felipe from Ensenada, for sure stop here at the Loncharia San Matias. Eden, girlfriend's happy. I'm happy. Those things are a mass, are like really big. It's fresh machaca rolled in a flour tortilla with like diced onions and green peppers, but they make them um, amazing here. So now we're back on the road. Our next stop's gonna be San Felipe, where we will fill up the tank before heading further south to Gonzaga. looking at right now is actually the Sea of Cortez. We are almost at San Felipe and we made a pretty good time. Here we are, we're gonna about to go through a military inspection and then we're gonna fill up the tank at, in San Felipe. That was by far the easiest checkpoint ever. Um, he just said, Adelante, let us keep going. He seemed to stop the other like four or five cars in front of us, but to us, he just passed us through. So we only stopped for uh, just for gas real quick in San Felipe and we kept going. We are driving alongside the coast here, heading south. And this road is amazing. It's pretty new. It's probably like three years old and there has not been a single pothole the entire way on here. So we're pretty stoked about that. So we just pulled into Gonzaga Bay and there's only one store here and it's this place right here called Rancho Grande, but it's packed. So we were gonna get firewood here, we thought it'd be a, but I've never seen this many people. So we're worried that we're not gonna get a spot at the campground we wanna go to. The place we're trying to go to is called Punta Final. It's at the end of Gonzaga Bay. I'll put a little map overlay here right now. It's like on the, on the south side of the bay. Hopefully, hopefully we have a spot. Yeah, so this road is like super washboardy and bumpy and not very comfortable on the ride, so I'm just lowering the air pressure. That's a in. Probably no. Down to about 20 psi just to make the road smoother. 
Oh yeah, that's so much better now. Way, way softer. You can still hear the bumps, but that's always air down. Like why even, why even ride uncomfortable if you don't have to? Like some people just stay with their their tires fully maxed out. And for me, I, I hate hearing stuff rattle in the back. So just airing down changes changes the whole experience. Okay, so the guy at the gate said it's really full and there's like 70 cars. And I was like, there's no way. So he let us come in to see and there's at least 70 cars here, which is kind of crazy. He let us come in to check it out. I mean, it is pretty beautiful, right? But the problem is, is that there's so many people everywhere. This is what you get trying to camp. So Mana Santa, we're gonna decide. Maybe we'll go out to put the finale and try to drive up the beach. The owner said there's this area that we could probably just drive, four wheel drive up the sand. So we're gonna check that out. We decided to drive up a bit and it's kind of crazy. that There's literally no one here. We're just driving down the beach, literally right next to the water. I don't know, we got all this open. So we're gonna kind of explore and look for a place because Punta Final is not what we were expecting today. There was between like 70 and hundred cars there right now. And yeah, we just weren't down for that. found a place right in front of the Rancho Grande, but that place is completely packed, right? We found this like fishing man, fisherman village thing next door, and there's a campground here, and it's called Campo Marlene. So we paid a lady 250 pesos. She's like, there's no bathrooms, there's nothing, but their property line goes all the way up to the Rancho Grande. So we just found a spot, it's close by. It's the same beach, look at this. We just found a spot right next to it, all to ourselves. And I think we're gonna be able to walk over there and use their bathrooms without them knowing. I think this is gonna be our little travel hack, but now we're gonna set up camp real quick. So we're basically set up. We got the shift pod out. This would be my first night sleeping in it. I've had it for about a month, but we've had such bad weather that I haven't had the chance. We got this amazing view. I mean, we got this whole area right here. I mean, there's a lot of people over there, but we got this whole area to ourselves. Pretty amazing. This tent is awesome. Let's do one of these things where we unzip it. You can see the amazing view. That's what we're dealing with. Buenos dias, everyone. We slept amazing. We were pretty tired too, because I only slept four hours the night before the drive. Samana Santa is interesting, because you can hear music in the background, like in the distance. But we, we're pretty isolated from everything. We're way over here. And we just tested our whole bathroom theory. And we just came over to Rancho Grande right next door and used their bathrooms. So cool, now we're gonna make some coffee. I'm gonna fill up the paddle board and we're gonna go for a paddle because there's absolutely no wind right now. It's pretty amazing. So let's do this. Welcome to Gonzaga Bay. Yeah. Yeah, you did. Yeah, but... It's really cold. I'm gonna go too now because I made her do it, so I gotta do it myself. Life is good. 
¿Qué trae? ¿Coco con qué? Solo es salsa, salsa nomás. Limón. Y... Está riquísimo. Yo no sé de dónde lleva los cocos, porque no hay cocos aquí. <laughs> In the playa, siempre hay cocos. <laughs> I was like, I don't know where they brought the coconuts from because there's clearly no coconut trees here. But she's like, on the beach, there's always coconuts. gracias. Nos vemos más tarde. We just got some fish from this guy. It's halibut, he said. And they just caught it. We paid 120 pesos for all of this, so about six bucks. We just had an amazing meal. We cooked up all that fish. This guy just walking by, he asked if we would wash his shovel while he was carrying a bunch of other fish down the down the beach. And I was like, yeah, of course. He came back by, I was like, hey, is that fish you're giving out? He's like, yeah, 120 pesos a kilo. And he had this super heavy bag. It must have weighed like 10 pounds. And he said, oh, it's two kilos. Oh, it's just 240 pesos. And we're like, oh, that's way too much food. Like, it's a really good price, but it's way too much food. Like, can we just take half for 120? And now we're just gonna drink some mezcal from La Locura which is bomb. I brought this from Oaxaca. This is an esperin with quiote, which quiote is the flower that blooms out of the agave and they blend it together with the esperin. Pretty bomb. It's 48%, so it's a good digestive for the night. And we're just gonna enjoy this fire. And that's about it. And we'll get back to you guys in the morning. Cheers. Everyone's getting drunk today, I think, and they keep getting stuck. So everyone thinks they can just drive over here, but the sand's pretty loose, and I don't think this Nissan has um, four-wheel drive. But we don't want people over here. We we're happy that we had all this to ourselves, and now it looks like people are finding out about our spot because you look down the beach here now, it's getting busier and busier. Hopefully, um, more people don't come too close to us. People that keep getting stuck in two-wheel drive trying to drive on, on this beach, and this guy fell down when he was walking, so he's pretty drunk, the guy who got stuck. There's a lot of people drinking, and there was banda music till like three or four in the morning. But it is what it is, Semana Santa. So yeah, we're gonna go walk down the beach. There's actually a hotel at the end called Alfonsinas, which I've been to a few times. I just wanna check it out and see how busy it is there. Plus, they have a bar. Maybe we can get a margarita or something, I don't know. Not bad, 140 pesos, so like a $7 margarita in the middle of nowhere though, man, that's not a bad price at all. Really good too. Now we're gonna go cruise to this little point over here. The margarita was delicious by the way. Strong currents at 300 yards. Swimming is not recommended near the island. That was probably the last paddleboard of the trip. We've only done a couple, but look at this. Sunset was great. We weren't able to do this earlier today because the wind. But now we're gonna cook some dinner and get off to bed. It's our last night here and take off early in the morning. We are about to take off. We're almost fully packed up. I hope you enjoyed this video of San Luis Gonzaga. Uh, I'm gonna make another video in the future of when it's not Semana Santa and it's not so busy because it's not normally like this. 